Yes, hey guys, welcome back to Creative971. Everyone who doesn't know me yet, my name is Nico and I will be actually helping you today with one of the most after questions, which is actually starting a Shopify business within Dubai and the UAE or even the Middle East. Um, so most probably if you're watching that video right now that you're already in that stage of getting an e-commerce business or starting your side business or actually starting your startup, which is definitely amazing. So from our perspective, what we do, we're Creative971, as said. We are three years uh, pure Shopify plus agency or a Shopify agency based in Dubai. And we are actually running all of the Shopify meetups, the Shopify conferences and helping the startup community because we know we, we started out there as well, like almost three and a half years ago. And yeah, this is what we, we want to, to start now with you actually to provide uh, agency insight knowledge, not only agency knowledge, but just the experience what we gathered over the three years, especially on our um, startup events, what might happen to the startups and where they're actually approaching that. So what, what I will um, talk about in that um, video is more about how you get started, right? So first of all, you need to understand more about your company setup. Step one would be company setup. So you certainly should understand what kind of license you would require for your new business. And then at the same time, do a lot of research on that in order to maybe do it in the a, in a right way, but in the most cost-effective way to actually start out to see how your business is progressing and maybe you need to adjust your license in a, in a later stage. Um, the next part what you should think about would be a payment gateway. So you sh should think about the payment gateway in multiple options. So first it should be one which is in the UAE or within the Middle East, which it will be easy for you to apply to obtain the um, dirham currency. And this is something what could be discussed directly between you and the payment gateway. One of the next parts would be delivery and the logistics. So it depends how you're actually running or structuring your business, where you have maybe your warehouse, what kind of license you have, if you have maybe an onshore license, which you maybe have your own warehouse. Based on all of that, you should um, take a delivery partner, which makes most sense for you and for your business. But we have uh, most of them actually integrating very solidly into, into Shopify as well. So one of the next parts um, what you would actually need to think about is accounting, especially now if um, VAT is applied. So you ha should have a solid accounting um, because you first of all you need it and the second time it um, just makes your life and your business way easier. Um, inventory control, it depends how you actually will structure your business but Shopify is providing a very solid inventory control for um, yeah, a startup environment, let's say it like that. It certainly depends if you're maybe having a pop-up store or maybe you require point of sale or you have a retail outlet. All of that needs to be considered as well, but in a, in a startup um, consideration, you certainly can take it uh, directly within Shopify. Um, I would say the next part is most probably that you do a solid market research on your business. Right? You should understand what is going on with the competition, what is going on in the market within your industry. So you should certainly allocate some time to do that. It will just make it way easier for you if you understand your target area. Might be UAE, might be the full Middle East, or maybe you include Saudi Arabia or certain other countries. So this is depending on your actually strategy or growth plan as well. Um, one of the points which is actually important, you should understand the customer behavior. So if you understand the customer behavior and that kind of audience or niche what you're actually looking for to target, you will be way more easy on point and to understand customer needs. A customer provides a lot of information up front, whatever you will do your research on in platforms or in foreign, um, you will find these information. So this is something what we could put as information for you, it's important and you should do it. Um, yeah, I think the next one would be more about branding. Yeah, branding is extremely broad and there is a lot of insights about branding, how you should adopt it. But this is something which um, it's up to you, right, depending on your overall brand booklet or strategy. I would say, um, yes, the website structure 
would be most probably something what is important for you. So depending on what kind of yeah, startup or what kind of products or niche you're actually starting out with. So let's say you would take a Shopify theme which is uh, sufficient for your brand or which you just need to start very quickly and don't have a budget to actually build uh, a website according to your branding. Certainly you can take a theme, start with that, um, but you need to know all these kind of information that you can structure your website accordingly in a way which would make sense. In a website structure I would say it's uh, including the, the content as well. So if you think about content and most of the parts what you want to include on your website this should be on point and should to direct towards your, your customer. If we are talking about um, the conversions this is something which is actually very important for everyone but let's say your full cohesive e-commerce guide or experience how you would like to approach it is something what needs to be looked more into depth but um, I would say marketing and the conversion is going along but you would need to understand what marketing strategy you're actually picking right should it be content marketing should it be SEO organically marketing are you most probably going for influencer marketing so all of these kind of niches or whether you're saying you do all of that depending on the budget depending on your strategy or you're saying okay no most of our customers are actually based on your market research right most of the customers are actually looking in in Google for a service like yours or a product like yours so obviously you should be present there whether you pay advertisement shopping ads display ads so let's say on a marketing perspective if you need help or if you if you have if you do it by yourself or if you have an agency doing that you should be involved on a high level to understand what you what needs to be done if you can't execute all of that it's fine but just this is uh, information for you as, as starting out that you understand what kind of points need to be included uh, we actually have a, a full online training and course for, for all of that as well. So in case you want to know more about that and really putting a couple of hours of intense training into that, you certainly can get that from us as well. Thank you very much and happy selling.